I want to talk about my dust collection a little bit. Um, you might know my dust collection system. I have these wooden blast gates here installed for a long time. They are working okay, but they already start to crack where you connect the hose. And um, sometimes you cannot close them completely anymore because they're full of dust. And the biggest issue in my system is um, what's obviously my fault is that sometimes I forget to open a blast gate. And when all blast gates are closed and I turn on the vacuum, my uh, dust collection bin um, collapses. I'll show you what that looks like. This is my plastic barrel where I collect all the dust. As you see, it's already cracked a lot here. This big is cracked here. It's already damaged here. Um, um, so I have to do something yeah, to prevent this. Um, so let's build a fully automated dust collection system, which means automatically turn on and off the dust collection um, when I turn on the machine um, and also automate all blast gates depending which machine um, I'm using. So let's go and build this thing. I start with a well-known part of the blast gate, the tube adapter. I got a 75mm system in my shop, so the blast gate must fit on that. This small ring in the middle will prevent the tube from getting pushed completely through the gate. I also use the face tool to generate a 45 degree angle so that no support is needed for printing. Next is the body of the blast gate. This slider will later open and close the tunnel. I had this NEMA 17 stepper motor already in my library, so I used it here for my design. I place the motor on the end of the blast gate. That will change later on because of the weight of the stepper motor.
The Spur Gear Generator is a little plugin for Autodesk Fusion 360. It's free and you can download it on the Autodesk website. Here I copied the profile to generate a weird shaped thing to move the slider in both directions. Okay, as promised, let's move the motor back and generate a mechanism to control the slider. First, the motor mount. If you extrude and print something in a 90 degree angle, always put a little face on the bottom. That makes this thing way more rigid. Next the shaft. I changed it later to 8mm one. and some mounts to hold the shaft.
Here I create a dummy pulley for the motor. I will create an HTD5 pulley later on. And another one for the shaft. I skipped a little bit in the video now. Here I extrude the mount for the microcontroller and the stepper driver. I also created another mount for the shaft. Last but not least I changed the orientation of the stepper and the pulleys to have some more space later for adjusting. So this was part one of my automated dust collection series. In the next part we will print the parts, glue them together and have a look on the electronics. Thank you for all your support and if you like what you have seen, subscribe to my channel.